Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Mars Horizon Episode 6. In the previous episode, we managed to complete another milestone, and that milestone was the Orbital EVA. I was the third one to complete this mission, and if I can do another couple of missions where I finish third or sooner, I get a reward of one and a half million. That's a nice reward, especially since missions are getting increasingly more expensive. The multi-crew orbit, unfortunately, is not one that I can really get to. At least not as a third, but the commercial satellite is still wide open. This is going to get you a lot of cash. Three and a half million. But in order to get there, I'll first need to do a bit more research. What I'm first doing is missions like uh, the human in space and the required payload to assure that I get another bonus to payload reliability which will mean that hopefully the rest of the missions are going to be easier. As for other missions, let's see, we have a request on the moon. Nah. 25 support reward. It's only 300. No, I'm not interested. Uh, lunar orbit has been completed by all at this point. And the crewed moon landing, not yet. Now, it is 1967, so we still have a few years in order to get to the moon. That's probably going to require a pretty high amount of research. Yeah, here. That's uh, 4,000 research, and that's another 5,500. That's a lot of research. If I want to sort of get that done in the correct time frame. Mars doesn't have request missions. Do I want to do a Mars flyby again? I probably can't afford that. Let's focus on uh, smaller, more affordable missions. What's happening on Venus? Jesus, they're all there? Japan was first, Europe was second, the Soviet Union came in third, and China is launching in 12 months. Okay. Well, you know what? It's nice that you guys are getting so successful. I am not going to mingle with that. I'm going to get some more research. It's going to get experimental fuel, which means more science reward, but less launch reliability. So I'm going to have to offset that by using a good sponsor or a good uh, contractor. I think that is currently the most interesting mission from a science perspective. So we're going to plan it. Um... Payload reliability is decent. Let's just go with this one, the standard one. The other one puts me back uh, another 109,000. It's too expensive. Pay the, or build the payload. <clears throat> okay. Um, this is probably going to come up next month. Extravehicular photography. Oh, nice. In the previous episode, I did an EVA mission and I brought cameras with me. I paid 100k in order to get the cameras, and I gained 300 support from having the cameras. Human and research space research complete. Okay, that's the one that I was expecting. And then finally we need to do Mercury. It is a bit weird that I already did uh, the orbital EVA before I even put <laughs> humans in space using Mercury, but I just kind of rushed by that research because everybody else was already doing it. Budget review. I think I passed that one. And we're already nicely on our way to getting 5,000 support points. The Earth topography one is complete. Payload reliability increased. Just like that. No, no debuff. I can get on board with that. Earth oceans mission is complete. So I can set a launch date for that. Um, what was the trait? Minus 50% launch reliability penalty for suboptimal launch window. So this is a good buff without a debuff. I don't have any trainings. At least not available. So the Earth Oceans mission can just be set for May. Select the date. Confirm the mission setup. Go back to mission control because we still need to build a vehicle that's capable of launching the Earth topography mission. Payload reliability increased. Uh, can I just load any of my vehicles or not? Probably not. Because I don't have anything that's capable of doing this particular mission. 
Now, the launch reliability had a minus 25% debuff. So I need to use a vehicle which has a really high amount of reliability, like the Delta. Uh, the Agena, 7383. Agenas are... <laughs> Holy shit. That's a million one. No, thank you. I'll just use the trusty Delta. It's big enough. Booster phase. Uh, Atlas would only mean 58. 50. 63, 65. 67. 55. 68. Look at the difference in price, right? This is uh, the Delta IV with SRBs, two supplementary rocket boosters, 677k. The Titan II, if you want to get that one up to a decent launch reliability, you're paying 990, uh, sorry, 989. That's a significant price tag. Contractor, uh, Keller can make my rockets a bit more reliable at the expense of science. I think that's not a bad idea, because that launch reliability has to go up higher than 67%. I'm sacrificing 250 points of science, but I might be able to regain that by setting a decent launch date. This is uh, Bismarck. Oh. I know what happened to the Bismarck, and it wasn't pretty. Space systems expertise research is now complete. Payload reliability increased by 5%. Really nice. That's this entire... Part of the tech tree, the Era 1 complete for both the buildings and the missions and uh, for the vehicles as well. If I want to get the next one, unlocking two additional contractors, I would need to do five more units of research on launch vehicles. Buildings would give me the Space Science Library plus 10% support gained from successful missions. Okay, but I would need a lot of buildings to research that. And missions. Minus 20% payload build time. Ooh. Tempting. Very tempting. But well, we're going to need the Mariner 8 anyway, so let's continue with that one. Soviet Union completed phase one of something. Venus orbit. Jesus, they're already at that? Okay. What about Mercury? Whoa! The Soviet Union is en route to Mercury? What is my standing with the other agencies? Aren't they just flat out laughing at what I've been doing so far? They have the Venus Impactor as a recent milestone, multi-crew orbit is what they're working on. And they're researching Mars orbit, okay. I already have that, the Mars orbit. I'm already beyond that and researching the Mariner 8, or Mariner 8. Uh, they're working on the crewed moon landing. Venus impact release milestone, no launches for the Soviet Union. China, currently researching ComSat? Whoa. That's commercial satellites and the vehicle for it. They're working on the PR office. They've completed the Mars flyby. Yeah, I can probably achieve the Mars orbit before anybody else does. Because nobody else has it, but they are working on it. Oh, sorry. They no, they have it, but they haven't planned a mission yet. I probably don't have a budget for it either. Yeah, we're just waiting for this one to get completed. And this one is on one month until it launches. <clears throat> okay, let's get to that launch. Mariner 8 research is complete. A robotic probe designed to orbit another planet and capture high resolution images and atmospheric data. First though, Earth Oceans. Lucrative mission. There is a lot of cash to be made if this thing goes well. Bad conditions. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Switch to July. Or actually... June. June's good enough. I don't want to postpone by two months. Carry on. One month. Next research focus. 
Uh, see, the Chinese have already completed the commercial satellite research and are working on the commsat. Yoinks. And the other party was in Japan? The crude moon landing. That is some serious, serious science that those guys are doing. And if they can launch that stuff, there's also a pretty good chance that they're not just able to launch it, but also have the vehicles for it. <sighs> okay. Okay. Let's go for commercial satellites. Optimization available. I can pay 250k and I will get an estimated 10% of increase in payload reliability, which is currently 80%. Uh, no, thank you. I think it's good enough as is. Earth oceans. This time, no stormy weather. Adequate conditions. We're good to go. Now, before I forget to mention it, as I'm recording this episode a bit earlier, if this happens to be the last video that you catch of me before Christmas, Happy Christmas, or Hanukkah, or whatever it is that you're celebrating. I hope you're going to have a good time, despite all the, uh, the weird stuff happening in the world with the COVID restrictions. Alright, we have a good launch. The Delta has maxed out at 85%, and the Redstone is gaining a couple of percentages. Now comes the fun part. The minigame, and this is where we make some money, <clears throat> if it goes well. We need to collect four comms, four data, and two nav. Alright. We have three turns, oh, sorry, four turns of three actions each. Six power to use. I can go with uh, one, two, three. That puts me at all the data that I need. Um... But I cannot do that at the same rate of collection for the signal return, so for the comms. I really would like this bonus objective, because there's a lot of money to be had from this mission. A lot of money indeed. If I can do this one, I can generate data, and I can use the data to get that. Let's just do that again. Launch reliability, or payload reliability, 75%. So I'm pretty, pretty confident that this thing is going to work quite nicely. One. Oh, please tell me. Yeah, okay, 28%. We just made it into the green. <clears throat> or rather, into an area where we don't fail anything. And that one's even good. Four data has been gained. Nice start. Okay, now we're going to do that again. I'm going to spend my data to generate the other resources and then use a bit of electricity to gain more data. Of course. Resist. Again? Okay, that one at least went through. Thank you. I was getting concerned. Okay, we have the basic objectives complete and I still have two turns to complete the rest of the objectives. I'm already quite close to doing that. I just need to generate more data. Um, and then do this one again. And then generate another bit of power. And then with the next turn, I can generate power and get more data. If everything works. That one does work. And that one also goes through. Very good. We got the 8 and the 8. It's the last turn. I now need to get power, uh, data gen, and that's really all that I need. So let's just generate another bin of power. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh, I got way too much nav data. <laughs> oh well. I guess the boys at Science are going to be happy with me. Job done. That's a lot of cash, guys. That is a lot of cash. 3.18 million. Nice. We're now at 4.3 million. So that means that for my base, I could, if I wanted to, expand a bit and get a spacecraft um, assembly building. 
which will unlock payload reliability, or a rocket test pad, which will increase launch reliability. Let's get one of these things built. In case I have missions where uh, there is a high likelihood of shit going poorly. I'm going to build that one there. And then the spacecraft assembly building, payload reliability. Sometimes you get those nasty debuffs. Um, 850k, minus 2% vehicle build cost and time. Over here it's still 850. If I place it here it's just 100. This is... Ah, this is 112k. And I get plus 1 and minus 3. Let's do that. Just expanding the base a bit. And now I also have another slot for another mission. EVA exercise. I need to do that with the Japanese. Who will contribute 53% towards all mission costs. Okay. I would gain reputation with Japan. I gain advanced weatherproofing. Limits the detrimental bad weather effects. That is really nice. In case you really want to go on a specific day and there is bad weather, you can actually do that. And it generates a bunch of support. Let's plan a joint mission. Uh, Gemini with an extra seat. Go. Venus orbit's been completed by Soviet Union and they completed Mercury orbit for good measure. Good lord, those guys are productive. Earth topography completes in three months, the production. Astronaut accused of spying. Cooper Caballero being a spy for a foreign power. I don't think so. No. That's a lie. I lose 200 support. Damn media. Rocket test pads complete and the spacecraft assembly facility is complete. Time to launch some stuff. First though, the Gemini. Only vehicle booster reliability counts towards launch. What? Holy shit, that's terrible. That means I need a really good vehicle booster. If I want to get this thing into orbit. That is not good. Earth topography vehicles complete. Let's set a launch prep. Uh, this one was going to gain science. Or I can get launch reliability or I can get payload. What's the payload reliability at? 81. Launch 73. But if I go for a good weather condition, I can just offset that. So I'm going to go for science focus. Set a launch date. Uh, no optimal, or no launch date, failure, problems. Let's get a bunch of signs out of that mission. Confirm. And now we need a really good vehicle for this. Upper stage. Uh, I suppose we're going to have to go with something really expensive. But fortunately, the Japanese pay 53%. That's good. So only the booster counts towards launch reliability. That means that it doesn't really matter what launcher I use. Because it's going to be shit anyway. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. I'm just going to go with the cheapest one that I can find. And that happens to be the Titan II. And here comes the booster. 76%. 61%. All the way up to 77%. Um... 99% launch reliability. For a price of 705k. Ma, I'm not going to say no to that. I think that's pretty good. 846. Hold on. You were 705. So you're more expensive. The... Um, what was that? The Titan II. We're going to go with the Delta with four solid rocket boosters. That's a really, really <laughs> nice launch reliability. Considering that only the upper... St or no, the, the, the booster stage works. Okay. Get that thing built. 700k. Let's move on to the next event. Which happens to be the funding review. Budget review. I took a bit of a hit to my budget with that whole spying accusation. 
I still vehemently deny that. China completed the Venus Impactor. Does anybody have missions for Mars? Yeah, the Mars orbit. Right. Not yet. Look at that, you can get engine and habitat. Wow. Interesting. Not yet, though. <clears throat> Not yet. Too soon. Earth topography. Let's get this thing up and gain 2,520 points of science. Good conditions. I'll take it. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're off. Sent looked good. No problem so far. Seems to be listing a little bit, but not too much. Okay. Launch reliability for the Delta increased. And now let's see what they want me to generate with the Earth topography mission. Three, three, and three. Very good. I have four turns, three actions each. Um... How am I going to do that? This is going to be from two data to two and two. So one, two, three. Oh. Yeah, I don't have enough data for that. Very good. Completes. Oh, nope. No joy. Resist. I'm going to start speeding these things up a little because it happens to be the same thing almost every time. Uh, let's do that again. So at least I meet the base requirements and then use a power. I thought this thing was supposed to be reliable. Work it. Okay, now I'm out of power. But I have completed the base objectives. In order to succeed with the others, I would need to go for one of this. And another one power. And the last turn is going to have to generate everything that... Fuck's sake. Everything that I need. Which is going to be... Pretty much outright impossible, I think. Because I still need to generate two navigation, one data. And I need to do that either with very low power or no power. No power is not possible. I think. That would be too low. This would be 7, 7, and 5. I need to get 6. Um, this puts me at what I need, but then I still need to generate somehow a lot of comms like that and then I'm down on a navigation crap how do I generate a bunch of comms because I don't have any power the only way to generate comms is with the power with data or with data and nav I don't see it happening. Seven, seven, and five. I just don't have the power for this. And I can... Well, I can transmute two data into one nav here. Everything has to succeed. If it does, I'll complete the mission with honors. One fails, and I'm screwed. Two... Oh, can we get three? Yes, we can get three. Hey, hey. Job done. Mission succeeded. 420? Nope. 630 for six months and a bunch of support. Thank you kindly. Okay, what do we do next? We now have a huge budget. How about we go to Mars? Mars orbit has not been completed by anybody. 
So this means that this is wide open. Plan the mission. The launch reliability for an Mariner 8 is really good. 81%. Since this mission has to go through, preferably with honors, I'm going to go for a really expensive craft. I'm going to go for a craft that's worth 882k. That is a lot of money. And what do we have on Earth? Spacewalking maneuvering unit. But I don't have an additional slot for missions. So it's nice that these things exist, but I don't really have a way to do it. The active mission, EVA repair exercise, gets built in three months. Now at least the science should speed up nicely, so the commercial satellite is going to be up soon. Let's see how the other guys are doing for that. The Chinese have it researched, but I don't have it planned yet. That's good. Commercial satellite research complete. Good. Next thing we need is the commsat. Research required 4,500. I hope I still have enough science for that. Because it's going to take quite a bit. I still have four months of topography research remaining. Let's hope it's enough. Now, our joint mission with the Japanese can begin. EVA repair exercise. No effects. Launch reliability 99%. Yes, but I've played XCOM. I know that 99% still means that shit can blow up in your face. Okay. What astronauts do we bring? Um, there is... Is there science to be had on this one? Yes, some. But much more in the sense of support. So I would ideally have a, uh, a celebrity. Because they generate 10% more support. They also require 10k just for a salary. We also have a comm specialist. Start each task with plus one comms. That's potentially very nice. I don't have one of those yet. Uh, let's at least get the engineer on board. So uh, Cooper is going to go with us. Electrician. Start each task with plus one power. Yep, you're hired. And you're going on the mission. Uh, that is Crespo. Caden Crespo. And I don't really want to spend too much more on new astronauts. So the third slot's going to go to somebody I already have. Aikida. Assign. Confirm. Training. Uh, what's the launch reliability? Payload 71, launch 99. Since science isn't that interesting, I'm just going to go with a bit more payload reliability. Set the launch date for October. It's going to give me a 12% launch, no, a payload reliability bonus. Actually, no, a bit earlier. September, so that I can still move to October if I need to. Because after that, the weather turns. So I'm going to set it in September. Confirm. Go. Next event. Astronaut praises NASA. While speaking to the press about being assigned to an upcoming mission, Cooper Caballero has praised your agency for its support after certain media outlets accused them of spying. NASA had my back throughout, the astronaut explained. They put me ahead of any publicity concerns and let me get on with my job. The best job in the world. Or, dare I say, out of this world. Because this guy has already been space. Now, initially this whole uh, spying story cost me 200 support. And now I gained 300. So that's really nice. So it, it netted me 100 support, if you will. The Mars orbit payload is complete. Uh, vehicle build time is going to go up. But science increased reward. That's beautiful. Prepare to shell out a lot of cash. Because this is going to get expensive. We can use the Agena or the Delta K. Let's use the Agena. How much do you gain in launch reliability per? 4% per level. And the Delta, 
Okay. You're it. Booster phase. I need a good launch reliability on this one because this thing is going to get expensive. 88, 86, 90 for almost 2 million. That's 1.8. That is 2.1 million. No, 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 no. That's 1.48. I'll take 1.8 million. And for the contractor, I'm thinking of making this a huge science mission. Because my science rewards are already going up. I can get 4,400 science. It will take, however, 12 months to build this thing. That's fine. I just hope that nobody else is working on this. Go. And um, let's get to the EVA launch mission. EVA repair exercise. Let's hope the weather's good. We're going to work with the Japanese on this one. And see if we can work together in the rain. No. Well, I've launched with worse conditions before. But I would rather like to have a positive event happen just upon launch. Reschedule. Set to October. This is why I set it for uh, September, so I can still move to October. Try it again. Launch reliability 99, payload 86, I think I saw. Okay, here we go. With all of these expensive missions, I'm now holding my breath to see if they don't explode in my face. And this one was trying to, but fortunately I only had a 1% critical failure chance. That one goes up by 3%. Very good. Okay, we're going to have to do a few mini games here. First, we need to achieve Earth orbit. And in order to do that, we're going to need a lot of comms and quite a bit of nav. Um, I already start with one. Courtesy of my astronaut. Now, I can use my crew and power to generate navigational data, comms, and data. Data can then be transmuted into more of what I need. So one, two, and three. We're going to need quite a lot in order to get to the bonus reward. Ooh, look at that. That was the software optimization. Ah, Ground control connection seems bad. Resist. Okay, mission-wise we are on track to already get the navigational data. I just need three more. Let's again use this one. Or actually, no, let's use this one instead. Um, this is a pretty good reward where I also use my crew. That's the problem. What can I do with data? I can transmute data into, or nav data and nav into a bunch of comms. And data can also be used, yeah. Data, unfortunately, doesn't generate a lot of comms, but a decent amount. Let's just do this. That's going to give me a ton of data. And then one of these. Complete. Complete. And completed with honors. Okay, we have almost gotten the navigational data that I need. Now I can start spending all of this stuff like crazy. One, two, three. 
That's going to get me almost to 22. And then... Hold on, maybe do one of these. So I can still get closer to what I need. If any of these fail, I can generate or I can use some of the power that I have to make sure that it still goes through. And the last one, done. Okay, we have five data remaining. Last turn. One, two, three. Well, not really, because I don't have any data anymore. Uh, more comms. That should be more than enough. Succeeded. Succeeded. Job done. Okay, that's the first phase. Next up, conduct mission EVAs. We once again have to work with drift here. Don't drift off course too much. It's a very narrow drift that we have. One. I cannot use too much of it. We need to get a whopping 16 units of data and 8 comms. That is quite a bit. Good lord, how much do you want to counteract that drift? That's nuts. This takes 3 drift? Let's first use the astronauts to generate a bit of comms. Then one drift and a bunch of data. Um, <clears throat> that's going to be too much. I cannot do that one. I would ideally spend one drift. But there's not really any drift input. <laughs> that's the problem. How about this one instead? Whoa, look at that. Comms optimized. And that one also goes through. Okay, so where are we now? We are at mission requirements for comms. Now we need to get four more data. Although ideally, 12. I need to spend some drift. And then I need to regenerate drift. Uh, quite a bit, in fact. These are expendable navigational data. Let's hope that this works. Whoa, indeed it does. Four data has been generated. This one's also really nice. And finally, that one. Okay, mission requirements are achieved. I have two turns to generate the extra stuff. The extra stuff means one more, or rather, uh, a bunch more data. Make sure I get that. And what can I use my astronauts for? Hold on, not that one, this one. Ideally, I would just not waste too much drift. Um. That should do it. Complete it. Next up. Whoa, that was terrible. Resist. And that's good. Okay, now I only need to get one point of data. That's it. That's all. I cannot do it with that. Uh, without using this. But that means I have to spend one more here. And then I should be getting the 35% bonus. Almost got the bonus reward. Nice. And succeeded. With honors. Now we're going to go back. Perform controlled re-entry. Need to keep an eye on the heat meter. Don't want to burn up in the atmosphere. It's going to generate 2 to 4. Poof. That's a lot. Let's first get rid of a bunch of it. Um, and then do one of these. And then... Then what? That one. Okay, complete it. Yep, managed to do it. 
And the next one also managed to do it. Really good. Okay, now we also need to generate a bit of data. Ooh, we are way too hot. We need to cool this thing down urgently. This is the only one, the manual data collection, that I can use to burn heat. It's the only one that I can use to get rid of it. If I roll unlucky and I generate another three heat, or another four rather, then I'm going to be in trouble very soon. So let's hope that that doesn't happen. Um, yes. And that. Ooh, ooh. Let's generate some power or send some power towards that. Good. And that one. Okay, where are we at now? Eight, seven, and seven. Shit. I need to get this thing done now, or I very much risk burning up in the atmosphere. Completed data. Wait, did I pick the wrong one? Oh, shit. I should have picked data. I picked the wrong one. We're now at five again. That one. Um, I need data output. That one. Yeah, just do that and generate data. Or generate power. Okay, job done. Thermal control completed. Let's go home. EVA completed. And that got me a couple of really tired astronauts, which are going to be recuperating for six months. That's fine. We managed to get the mission complete. And with that, we also were able to get that bonus, which means that I now no longer have to keep the weather in mind as much as the, the punishment is halved, which is really fortunate. That really helps out a lot. All right. The episode concludes here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week. We're going to continue our exercise to get to Mars. And in nine months, grandiose is going to be complete. But of course, in the meanwhile, we're going to be setting up another mission. Until then, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next week for the next one.